Edge was the leader of the Judgment Day faction in the WWE Monday Night Raw, but then we saw that Finn Balor turns heel, and Finn Balor is the new leader of the Judgment Day, and he attacked Edge and Monday Night Raw past two years. Sorry, the two weeks. So this is now confirmed that Rhea Ripley is injured and she is not coming to Money in the Bank due to which the faction is disturbed and we didn't saw them on Monday Night Raw this week as the world championship for the women is Carmella versus Bianca Belair is official and the Rhea Ripley is out of action for a while but there is a medical condition that led him to some distance from the WWE but for the Judgment Day faction, it is not clear when it is be possible for them to reunite inside the ring and make them the call for the next match or the first fight for the Edge and the Finn Balor face. Unification of championships in the WWE and wrestling promotion is worst because you cannot see much more matches as we are seeing in the pay-per-view, the WWE Championship match and the Universal Championship match. But after the unification, you only see one match. So WWE fans are criticized about they are choosing the champion like Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, anyone who has the both titles. There must be one title for one person so there are more opportunities and more champions around on the Monday Night Raw on SmackDown. But this looks great for the Roman Reigns that WWE promoting him in a big star and also for the face of the company. They are promoting their content on the Roman Reigns shoulders. It's good news for every fan who is a Roman Reigns fan. But not for everyone because Bobby Lashley, Brock Lesnar and some other guys like Randy Orton, they are just appearing without titles in the WWE. Page was a big draw in the WWE in her time but now the contract is expiring and there are a lot of questions happening and the Anthony is in AEW. So she returned at the double or nothing as a debut but she also said that there is no way this is a huge viewership for the balance but it could be Paige and Emma. So the next thing that we are considering is that she just want Paige in the AEW but this will time tell as we know that the first post WWE WWE is releasing the page and she is re returning at the indie event but now this could be at the AEW's Koshida was in the WWE's NXT and then he released from his contract and now he is returning to the New Japan Pro Wrestling and there is an interview he just got and then inside the ring he returned but as for the Koshida he didn't want the WWE NXT Championship and he is not capable of and not doing so much things there and WWE not made him the best storylines in. So Koshida was there the North American Champion like this type of belts and in the New Japan Pro Wrestling. He has returned and maybe they got some looking for a good future here. But for Koshida, he is here in the New Japan. WWE also released so many superstars in the past year and they are leasing as the time looks good for them. There is no doubt that the superstar they are getting is from the other promotion.